Alcohol and pregnancy do not mix, so if you're pregnant, think, don't drink. Your child could develop fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, also known as FASD. FASD is caused when alcohol is consumed during pregnancy, and it can lead to possible lifelong disabilities. FASD is 100% preventable if women don't drink. If a woman is pregnant and cannot stop drinking, help is available. Dr. Richard Goyer is a board-certified obstetrician gynecologist. No amount of alcohol is safe to drink during pregnancy. Women who are pregnant and drink alcohol should notify their health care provider immediately. FASD is a lifelong medical condition that prevents different challenges at different points in a patient's lifetime. There is no safe level of drinking or safe time to drink alcohol during pregnancy. When you are pregnant, your unborn baby drinks what you drink. When a pregnant woman drinks alcohol, it passes into her bloodstream and spreads throughout her body, increasing the risk of FASD. As soon as the alcohol is in her system, it enters her placenta and passes to the baby through the umbilical cord. Alcohol goes directly into the baby's bloodstream, where it can damage the brain, the face, and organs that are developing at the time. The effects of prenatal alcohol exposure may include physical, behavioral, learning, and other developmental disabilities. This is outside. Remember, I used to bundle you guys. There you are. Diane O'Connor knows firsthand about the struggles associated with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. Through the years, she has adopted several children with FASD, including her 19-year-old daughter, Jasmine, who is expecting her first child. Our daily challenges are processing of information and overall organization of daily uh, living. Uh, things like uh, combing their hair or brushing their teeth, they need a lot of reminders to do that. Making sure their, their homework is in their book bag for school that day. Um, how they get dressed, when they get dressed. Um, simple things like that. It may not, not seem like a lot, but when you're dealing with it day in and day out, it is a lot. Diane devotes much of her time raising awareness about FASD. She and her daughter have a message for women who are pregnant or who think they may become pregnant. As a woman, I know that we want happy, healthy babies. And it's really important that if you uh, continue to drink that you use effective birth control. But if you really do plan on having a baby, to stop drinking. I think that all women, especially college students, should be aware of the dangers of combining alcohol with um, sex. And I've also stopped the cycle that began with my grandmother of drinking during pregnancy with myself with my own pregnancy. And I'm very proud of that. So are you considering pregnancy in the near future? Yeah, so... Unplanned pregnancies pose one of the greatest challenges for FASD prevention. Many women don't even know that they're pregnant for weeks and or months during which time they may be drinking alcohol. Sexually active women should not drink if they could be pregnant. It is important for all women to talk to their OBGYNs about contraception, pregnancy prevention, risks, and lifestyle choices such as drinking, and how FASD can be prevented. Do you currently smoke? I don't. Okay, that's good. Because to further raise awareness, the New York State chapter of the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, also known as ACOG, and the New York State Developmental Disabilities Planning Council have published this handbook, Pregnant, Think, Don't Drink. Inside, important information about FASD every woman should know. If you would like a copy of the handbook, please visit acogny.org. A brief survey found inside will help ACOG continue important work on this issue. Please, please, if you're pregnant, think. Don't drink. This piece was produced by the New York State Chapter of the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, ACOG. For more information about FASD and women's health, please visit acogny.org. The American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Women's Healthcare Physicians.